All right, hey everyone, today from Very Geek. Welcome back to the channel. We're back to Hyorin Juices. Today's gonna be a little bit of a short video because uh, I was out and didn't have enough time to like do something like longer or something. Let me know if you guys want to see more Hyorin Juices stuff like Superman versus Goku because I haven't recorded that yet. Or there's a believe a ton of other stuff I haven't reacted to. Or we want to see gameplay, or whatever. Because I do want to keep JoJo and stuff alive because I am gonna keep talking about JoJo and I might even talk about the OVA slash talk about the animation and stuff because i think the ova gets a lot of unfair hate in my opinion the voice acting is god awful but i do think there's some aspects that are better than the modern anime at least when it compares to stardust crusaders but all that being said we are here to see jotaro versus diavolo now i haven't reacted or watched to uh this at all until part five covered Diablo and revealed them, his name, his stand, what it does, you know, all of that stuff. So I wanted to stay away from this. Also, I just didn't know what Diablo could do in the stats of King Crimson. I obviously could have looked it up in the manga or like just, you know, online, but I decided I'm gonna wait. I'm anime, I'm reacting to, you know, for my channel. So I wanted to wait. So here we are and finally, now that we know that everything that Diablo can do, we know everything that Jotaro can do, let's, Jump into the reaction. Hyori Jutsu's channel and the basically the video link will be down in the description below because I don't own any of this, duh, obviously. Uh, also, let me know down below who you think is going to win before the video even starts. I don't know who would win. It's tough to say because Jotaro and Diablo both have the same, I believe, speed and destructive capabilities. I think they're both ranked A in both. Uh, but I think... And it comes to resistance, uh, Diablo is way uh, less. He has like an E in resistance, I believe, because that's the only thing I looked up just now before I started recording. He has an E in resistance. I believe, I believe Star Platinum has like an A and, or, you know, just Jotaro in general. So, less resistance, but King Crimson has the same basically destructive capabilities as Star Platinum and the world. So, yeah. So, this is going to be interesting. So, let's jump into it without further ado. Join on everyone else there unaware, but Ponar have contacted not only them, but me too. So this is supposed to be where there's... You know, this would have made a lot of sense if Jotaro, if he did contact Jotaro to go there. Like, I wonder why he didn't, but we don't know. Ooh, nice. I think it's from, straight from a manga panel. Oh! Oh, Epitaph, I love that. I like how he's in, this is a little loud for me. I like how he's including the Dopio. Ooh. Ooh, I love the effect that he's doing with that. Yeah, this is like part five Jotaro. Ooh, I love the way he vanishes like that. And the reason, the reason I think I'm go, I'm gonna go for Diavolo. Ooh, oh. Oh, oh, wait, okay, well, hmm. to be fair, he, the evolution should have been dead. <laughs> oh, he messed up that really. I love the manga panel, that's a super nice touch. To be fair, Diablo should have been dead already. Because he got a whole aura rush and like he got broken bones and everything. Yeah, the only reason Jotaro loses is one, because of Epitaph, and then two, because at this point he hasn't trained with the world and all that. So he can't stop time for more than like, according to, you know, for this video's sake, only a second. That was awesome. I love the, yo, Hyorin Jutsu with the nice little effect. I love it with the little film reel. Huh. 
Huh? Interesting. I don't... So that's what... Well, no, they're about the same, Jotaro. Okay, so he lost. All right, that's an that's a whole ad. Okay, so the ending is a little controversial. I know that a hundred percent of JoJo fans are gonna find that controversial. Same, I do find it controversial myself because I do not believe. Okay, so here's the thing: the only reason Jotaro could move in the stop time that Dio created was because he had the same stand. Ask Pooh or not, that's what the story is, right? They have the same stand. It's not like, oh, if you're a time user, then you can move in the world. Because they have the same type of stand and the same abilities, Jotaro was able to see and move. I don't think, I don't think at all, one, I know he can forecast into the future and see like a 10 seconds and see what's gonna, if he was gonna activate the world. But, what they're inferring here is that he skipped time during the time stop. That Diablo cannot do. I don't believe so. Diablo cannot move and or see or react in the stop time. Because characters that don't have the same type of stand were not able to even acknowledge what was moving, what was even... Just like Dio, for example. Joseph didn't even know that Dio threw the knife at him until the knife went in his throat. Kakyomi didn't even see Dio roll up, you know, F in the chat, but he didn't even see Dio, like, move forward and break his higher friend green and, like, punch him straight in the stomach. You cannot see in the stop time unless you're Jotaro, pretty much. So, I think it's a little wonky to say that Diablo could see and activate his ability inside the stop time because you can't really skip time if all time is halted, if that makes sense. But, I don't know, but then like you're also stopping it for a certain amount of time, so it's a little weird. But I, 100%, I don't think that Diablo was a, would be able to, one, activate his skill, and two, see inside the stop time. So, and yeah, but overall, it was a nice little fight. I was, it was, it was a nice little fight. Uh, it made sense. I like that he still didn't, like, he didn't spoil how Diablo looked. Which is part of the reason why I stayed away from this fight, but still he didn't spoil him, so that's pretty funny. But yeah, for all that being said, what did you guys think of this fight? Did you agree with the fight? Do you disagree with the fight? Uh, I personally disagree with the outcome, but I think it's it's still a fun fight and still a great like animation video. I love the effects that he did; it was all amazing. So let me know what you guys uh, think down below. So with all that being said, make sure you guys leave a like, comment, subscribe if you share the video. If you enjoyed, make sure you check out Hyorin Jutsu and his video down below in the description below. Subscribe to his channel. And yeah, make sure you guys follow me on my Instagram, Twitter, and my Snapchat for updates on my, me, my life, and the channel. And I hope you all have a great night. Bye, guys.